Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I got stuff. This is everything that I made this year as a beginner crocheter. I think I started crocheting in August this year. So I've been busy. I actually got into crocheting because my friend made this guy a little crochet bandana for his birthday. And I thought it was the cutest thing ever. And I was like, I need to, I need to try this. And I got a heap of yarn. And of course, I started making a blanket because I feel like that's like the default thing to do. It's like, let me make a granny square, let me make a blanket. And I got bored of it pretty quickly. So I was like, what are things that I can make that I'm actually going to use or I'm actually going to like? And it's clothing. Oh, big stretch, big stretch. I really like clothes. So I was like, what are some fun things that I can make? I'm also going to show you how I like to style it because sometimes it's one thing making it and then it's another thing of like, how do you pair it with what you already have? So here are a few things that I've created and I do have a tutorial for many of them. I will either link them in the description box below or have them highlighted above. So I've got a few sweaters, I've got a few tops and then I have a few accessories that I've made as well. So let's do it. I don't know if you can hear the, the crunch crunch, but maybe it's a cute little ASMR for you guys. The first thing that I ever made was this skirt. And I was so proud of this skirt. This is something where I was like, the granny squares that I made, I could make a blanket or I could make a really nice skirt. And this was made out of like a bamboo yarn. So I was like, I wanna wear it. <laughs> I don't want to snuggle with it. I want to wear it. And then I ended up making a matching crop top to go with it. And this was when I learned how to do the sunburst granny square. So once I learned how to do the sunburst granny square, I was like, oh, it would be really cute if we could make like a little crop top with it. I've seen other people do it before and it was just kind of easy to kind of say, okay, I need three triangles and two squares and put them together. I ended up also making this same top in a green. I got this really fun yarn from New Zealand when I went there earlier this year with my mother. And I really wanted to get a yarn and make something with it and have like a little souvenir. Like I think it'd be kind of cool to start um, collecting yarn from all of the different places that I go and travel to and then make clothing out of it and then I can be like this is from New Zealand but I also made it and it's special I'm just sentimental like that guys I'm Aquarius leave me alone all right next my flower sweater <laughs> I was so proud of this sweater because it actually took me a few tries to understand this pattern my friend actually taught me how to do this pattern and i remember sitting next to her and i was just like i don't <laughs> i don't get it but then you had to do it over and over and over again so you know by the time i finished one panel then i could make the others um it's one of my favorite sweaters it goes with absolutely everything it can go with jeans you can dress it down you can dress it up but it's one of my favorite i can wear it i wouldn't say that i could wear this in like a, a cold day it's too airy for that, but maybe like a really nice fall or a really nice springtime. This is that. I made so many cardigans. I made so many chunky cardigans. The first cardigan that I made was this one. It's a willow granny square. And I knew I got this yarn and I knew I wanted to make like a really chunky patchwork cardigan with it. So I have a tutorial for this one. It's my latte cardigan, but this one goes with everything. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear it with leggings, you can wear it with jeans. I just really enjoy this one. It's really earthy and it's one of my favorites still. My marshmallow. <laughs> this is my marshmallow cardigan. This one is made from merino and the unfortunate thing about it is, is that it does shed like quite a lot. I don't know if that will change. Like comment below if you've created something similar to this out of Merino and if you like used a wool brush 
or if you washed it. I, I'm terrified to wash this. I know that that sounds gross, but I'm terrified because it's gonna be so heavy. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, I think I ended up using 10 or 11. Um, so it's like, it's a, it's a, it's a heavy, she's a heavy project. Worth it, but heavy. So I'm terrified to wash this. So if you have any tips below on how to get it to like stop shedding, share those with us. But this is my marshmallow cardigan. I think it goes with absolutely anything. I like to pair it with jeans. Uh, I find that it works best with like white t-shirts or white long sleeves i think just because it's a lighter color i think black just kind of makes it look too harsh this one has also been my most requested from my family and friends so i've already made one for one of my friends and i've also i'm in the process of making one for my mother for christmas i haven't finished it yet i'm running out of time all right, another sweater. So this one came about because I made my marshmallow cardigan and then someone was like, oh, I would love to see this in a pullover. And I was like, yeah, that would be a really cute pullover. And then I was like, why don't I make it a turtleneck? Um, but then like, I kind of got halfway through and then I was like, I don't want to make it a turtleneck anymore. I want to make it a really big open V-neck. And then I want to have these like cuffed sleeves. So this is my midnight dreams pullover. And this one is also made of that same merino yarn. So I haven't really worn it too much yet. It's, it's summer here. You guys, I love you so much because I know that most of you are from the States. And I love you so much <laughs> that I'm making these thick, heavy cardigans in the middle of summer when right now, like outside, I've got the aircon going, but right now outside, I think it is like 40 degrees Celsius, Celsius. But this is my Midnight Dreams sweater. This next top is the quickest top I have ever, ever made. Once I learned how to do a sunburst granny triangle, then I just added on these rows and made a color piece to make this top. And this is a super cute top. I like this one for like dinners or going out or doing something. You could dress it down if you wanted to, but I think the style of it is just like, She's got a little more flavor to her. So that's why I choose this one to wear out. But you can wear this with like, this would look super cute with leather pants, leather skirts, jeans, anything. This little cropped checkered sweater. I think this is probably like the second project that I finished. And it also took a while. Like sometimes I was like, why, why does it take so <laughs> Why does it take so long? But this was, this is like my cute little cropped sweater. It's got this checkered design. It goes with everything, but I like to pair it more with white. And I wear it with jeans. I wear it with track pants. I don't know. This one is just really cute. It's a good one. They made a few accessories this year too. So I made this cute little hat. <laughs> I made it to go along with my marshmallow cardigan. <laughs> I haven't actually had the chance to wear them together yet again. We're in summer, but I think that this would be really, really cute <laughs> together. So I made a little bucket hat, same material, same merino as my marshmallow. This is what I've done. I made little scrunchies and these were fun. This is a really nice beginner tutorial, uh, beginner friendly kind of project to start on if you just want to start to learn how to do some different stitches. I tried my hand at making plushies, so I made little turtles. This one is for my mom. This one is, well, it was for Chucky, but he doesn't play with it. I think he thinks that it's special because I made it because he's, he's a big boy and he rips up his toys like no tomorrow. There's always like an abundance of fluff around my house, but for some reason he just, he doesn't want to eat that one. One of my other latest accessories that I made was this little Kindle tablet cover, book cover, whatever you want to call it. I just used this for my Kindle, but it was this cute little checker print and I'm proud of this one. Uh, what else did I make? I made a few different tops. I'll show you them. I didn't bother styling them because, oh, <laughs> I have clothes absolutely everywhere right now from being like, what am I going to wear with this? I also made my partner a top. I was like hounding him, asking him, what do you want me to make you? And then he finally said, you can make me one of these tops. 
So I made it for him. He wore it to his Christmas party. I thought it was really cute. So there's that one. And that is it, you guys. That is everything that I made this year as a beginner crocheter. And I love seeing what you create. So make sure you tag me on Instagram. My handle is Emma Jane Warrender. I will link it down below. But send me your pictures because I love seeing these creations come to life in your own way. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.